Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that the future of the Star Wars franchise seems to be quite expansive, not just with their books, novels, comics, and video games, but also, let's not forget about their new Star Wars TV shows, the new Star Wars movies currently in the works by Disney, Lucasfilm, Bob Iger, Bob Chapek, you name it. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Disney Star Wars is that yes, we do know that they are currently heading in a more positive direction for the franchise. They are really trying to move away from all of the negativity that they have actually received over the last couple of years because of Kathleen Kennedy's incompetence over at Lucasfilm and what she did to the overall franchise. You know, here we are, we are now in a position, the Star Wars fandom is in a position where they are pretty much on edge still on whether or not Disney and Lucasfilm has the ability to really piece everything back together to the way it used to be before 2012, before the days when Disney took over Lucasfilm. But beyond all of this, we do know that Disney Plus is going to be a host of tons of Star Wars TV shows, be it animated or in live action form, that's really going to make up a large portion of this new library of Star Wars content and material. So, given that Kathleen Kennedy has little to no involvement in the new shows that are currently being produced and or developed, she does have a lot of control over one, and that is the Leslie Headland Star Wars TV series, which is all set and ready to debut sometime in 2022, still as of right now, and is actually said to also involve actress Brie Larson. And about Brie Larson, this is where the production is already beginning to get a little bit of a problem because of Larson's overall, you know, mindset on Star Wars. Now, specifically, of course, with the Skywalker saga now over, both Disney and Lucasfilm are currently developing many new projects for the new Star Wars universe that will introduce a brand new era of the franchise to fans around the world. Now, it's described that as of right now, the Leslie Headland Star Wars TV series is once again falling into more creative differences behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm. Now, it's noted that actress Brie Larson wants to quit the project if specific changes are not made to the new Star Wars TV series where recently, not so long ago, creator George Lucas made some massive regulations to the TV series and that now actress Brie Larson is demanding that those regulations be reversed or she will leave the project that is due for a release sometime in 2022 for Disney+. Plus. So here we are in a scenario where Brie Larson is essentially warning to leave the project if some of the regulations that were created by George and Bob Chapek are not going to be reversed. Now, you guys may very well be out of the loop, but regulations were made for this new show to kind of back away a little bit from the character of Maeve to not really go too overboard with that character. And that makes a lot of sense because let's, you know, just hop right into this is that this character Maeve already is a little bit too ridiculous. We've talked about this before in the past that this character is going to be a Jedi God in a sense that this character is going to be a living example of a character that is going to be pretty much, you know, created somewhat by the actual actress. The actress is going to have some form of control over the script of this movie. She's going to have a lot of power over the dialogue. Brie Larson is going to be able to improvise dialogue in many of the episodes of the planned 12 episode Star Wars TV series by Leslie Headland. So there's that, but there's also the fact that Brie Larson has been very known, has been very well known to be a very over-demanding actress. And here we are, same exact scenario, she's being very much demanding of what she wants and what she's going to get. And if she doesn't get that specific request, she's going to leave this project and now she actually wants to leave the overall Star Wars project. Which honestly I have no problem if she does because I feel like that a lot of fans are already against her being involved in this new Star Wars universe. So, further, all right, it's described that writer Res Leslie Headland is in the talks with Brie Larson to accept some of these regulations and that it is creating a stir behind the scenes of the project that is set to deliver a brand new era of Star Wars to the Star Wars fans around the world. Now, it's said that Brie Larson wants to have more scenes in the show than what she is actually being given and that Lucas's regulations that were put into place some weeks ago limited the amount of screen time that Brie Larson would receive in the beginning of the new Star Wars TV show for Disney Plus 
and of course that she will only be one of the big leads in the new Star Wars show. Brie Larson is said to want to be the top actress and or character in the series, and not necessarily just one of the characters in a group by Disney and Lucasfilm, and is having issues with being put in a story that will only make her one of the lead actresses and not the main lead actress in the series, if that makes sense. So once again, it seems like that Brie Larson's problem here is that she is not going to be the main star of this new show. And that she's not going to be pretty much, you know, the focus of attraction here in the new Star Wars TV series. Which, honestly, I mean, for an actress like Brie Larson, she should really be thankful for what she's even getting involved in. You know, she's already been a part of Marvel's, you know, Captain Marvel, and she's getting a sequel to that already. And now she's, you know, a part of Star Wars. And now she wants to leave Star Wars because she's not getting what she wants to get. I don't understand it, you know, a lot of these celebrities, I feel like that a lot of them should really be thankful for, the, for really where they are really sitting, to be honest. I mean, I feel that they don't really realize what they have, but they're just focusing on what they don't have. And Brie Larson's a great example of that. She's focusing on what she doesn't have, and she can't really see exactly what she already has. Star Wars is a franchise that really is massive. And I think that she does in fact realize that a lot of fans don't want to see her on this actual project. That also probably plays a role in a lot of this, but I digress. Now Brie Larson is said to be up in arms over the fact that she is planning or has actually planned to only have 10 minutes of screen time in the first episode of the new Star Wars TV series for starters and views this as being very unfair with the other actresses joining the new Star Wars project for Disney Plus that are getting more screen time than her for the first episode. Now, it's said that Brie Larson also only has around 8 minutes planned of screen time based on how the script is going so far for the second episode of the TV show, and that Brie feels that her character Maeve is getting a very poor introduction in the new Star Wars TV series that is supposed to be her latest project apart from Captain Marvel 2. Now, that's the other factor here, is that she's also focusing on screen time, is that she feels that her character is not getting a proper introduction into the story, which honestly, you know, I feel that it already has more than enough screen time given that a lot of these, uh, a lot of these episodes usually, you know, are going to range from 40 minutes to an hour. 10 minutes for the first episode I think is more than enough for an introduction of that character and 8 minutes in the second episode, it's not so bad, really. But when you look at a show that's 12 episodes long, that gives you 10 minutes, or should I say 10 other episodes, that could very well and potentially have more screen time for her. So I don't know why she has such a problem with the introduction of her character. You know, once again, she's not the main star, she's one of the stars in this new Star Wars TV series. So 10 minutes in the first episode, I think, is sufficient. So, Brie Larson is also described, all right, to be in negotiations to receive more screen time for these two episodes and the new show, and that if she continues to be very unimpressed with the show's direction, she is wanting to quit and or leave Star Wars in general, since she is also offended over the fact that Star Wars fans already don't want her in the new Star Wars universe. And that's right, a lot of fans don't want to see her in this new Star Wars TV show. It's not necessarily just because of who she is. I mean, it is a part of that because she is very much into, you know, the overall identity politics and promoting activism, which really just gets a lot of fans out there very annoyed, and properly so. But it's also the fact that Brie Larson is overly demanding. She doesn't really care about what she's working on. She only cares about what she is going to promote in these new shows, per se. Now, further, alright, Brie Larson is also demanding that her character to be tweaked in specific ways that are currently unknown, or she is going to quit the new Star Wars project that is in development that is already facing many issues. Kathleen Kennedy is described as support many of Brie Larson's stances on Star Wars and wants her screen time to be boosted in the first two episodes, as well as her character getting those major tweaks in the new Star Wars show that will be based in a brand new era that fans have never seen. 
So, like I've said before in the past, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.